So the Apostle Paul encouraged Christians to plan ahead, to give. In other words, Paul wanted them to consider their circumstances and to decide on a certain contribution amount. All right, um, I'm sorry to have to report this, but Jehovah is going broke, apparently. Um, I don't know whose fault it is. I'm guessing at the end of the day, uh, it, the buck stops with him. So he probably, I don't know, made some bad investments, probably bought too much game stock and AMC stock, too much doll coin or something. I don't know, but he needs money now, <laughs> apparently. They've been putting out more and more propaganda videos requesting that their people give them money. Generous giving would further allow Jehovah to care for them in a generous way. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know what went wrong. But I know when I was Jehovah Witness, back in the day, they would always put out, look, we not like them churches that's going to pass the plate around, asking for donations, begging. <laughs> I remember them being like that. And, they rem and, I, and I also remember them saying things like, I don't care what happens. If we get to the point to where as we need to ask and be begging for donations, we'll just stop doing whatever it is that's costing us money. Because the important thing is to give freely to Jehovah the way he gave freely to you. <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. But that's, that has changed a lot. Giving really depends on how we connect this with Jehovah. Our view of Jehovah, our friendship with Jehovah, needs to influence our actions, and this requires faith. Now it's like, look, we need money. Uh, I don't know how y'all going to give it to us, but we need y'all to give us money. And actually, this is a part of your worship now. If you're not giving us money, then you don't believe in God. You know, that's going to be reflected in your judgment. Just know that. You're going to get in front of Jehovah, and Jehovah's going to be like, well, I see you went out of service a lot. Saw so you brought in several members, and I see that uh, you dedicated a whole bunch of time, energy, and effort to my calls. But if you look at line 37, you'll see that you only donated over $200 the entire time as a Jehovah Witness. Ugh, you ain't got enough faith. Sorry to tell you. Like, that's what they're trying to tell people to be worried about. Being a generous giver is now a part of your faith. You need to every month look up and see how much you're paying out and how much you're giving to Jehovah. And you need to make sure that you're giving as much as possible. <laughs> it's almost like a monthly subscription to be a Jehovah Witness now. <laughs> That's pretty much what they're asking for. Like Jehovah has an OnlyFans or something, you know? Like that, that'd be weird. Pay $5 and you can unlock this <laughs> all-powerful dingling. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. But <laughs> to stop being blasphemous, let's get back to the point. They are asking their members to go through their books and make sure that they're paying Jehovah as much money as possible. That's weird to me. It is because first off, why would Jehovah need money or anything like that? And why are you threatening the people who aren't doing this? Like, why are you making these little threats? Well, this is a part of your worship. This is a part of your faith. If you're not giving, that means your faith isn't where it needs to be. And that could be, you know, it could be problematic because it, it almost sounds like how a mob would threaten somebody, you know? Generous giving would further allow Jehovah to care for them in a generous way. Do we now see how planning ahead is an expression of our faith? When we do this, we are putting Jehovah to the test in a good way. We want to experience how it feels when Jehovah sees us setting the right priorities and in turn becomes our protector and our rewarder. 
Don't pay your light bill, your lights get turned off. Don't pay your gas bill, your gas get turned off. You don't pay your Holy Spirit bill, who knows what could happen to you. You could be outside, minding your business. I'm not saying it's going to happen. But then, boom, you trip, fall, land into a lightning bolt to the face. I'm just saying. I'm not saying it will. I'm just saying it could. I'm just saying if I was you, I'd pay Jehovah his damn money. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> like, is that the vibes y'all get? Because those are the things I'm hearing. Like, it's straight up mob ties now. Like, when did Jehovah, the guy who created the heavens and the earth and all this other stuff, become so desperate for money? I mean, yeah, you can create the heavens and the earth, but you can't create a legal defense <laughs> to protect yourself from all these people coming at you because you've had such horrible policies when it, you know, in regards to children and uh, the two witness rule and I don't know, making all these propaganda videos, right? These high quality propaganda videos. I thought you would just stop that. Like, you know, what? we shouldn't be investing all this time, energy and effort into something. And we're in this desperate need of money, you know? It's almost like you're trying to squeeze every dime out before you make a run for it. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I know I'm just throwing it out there and I have no evidence to suggest that they're about to make a run for it. But I know that usually when it comes to criminal enterprises, they like to say, okay, it looks like the government's starting to crack down on us. So let me make sure I stockpile all the money I have and put it in places I can easily get to that's outside of banks and things like that. So I can make my run for it when I need to make my run for it. It just kind of seems <laughs> like that's what they're doing. Once again, I could be wrong. I don't know, but they're really desperate for money. They got little even even little Caleb and Sophia. They can't buy ice cream. They got to give it to Jehovah. They sitting up there like, come on, man. Do you really need HBO and Cinemax? First off, that's Cinemax. Mm mm. You shouldn't have that anyway. You got Netflix and Hulu. You shouldn't have either one. You shouldn't even have time to watch TV. All that time should go to Jehovah. <laughs> you know how they are. You know how they talk. And yes, they're trying to squeeze every dime out of their uh, out of their people. Why? What is going on? Why are they so desperate for money? Why are they putting out video after video, symposium after symposium, dedicating all this time, energy, effort, and money to getting money from their people? What happened to just, you know, give what you can? I remember those days. I'll never forget. They would always say, oh, the, the sister, uh, what's her name? I forgot. But it was the one sister who apparently she didn't have much to give, but she gave Alas, to Jehovah. And it was recognized more than everybody else's because everybody else, they just gave, you know, they were rich, so they had a lot to give, but she gave her very last. So her very last was more looked at as being like, you know, more impactful and more appreciated, you know? And ah, man, now they're like, yo, you need to give more. <laughs> First Corinthians 16 verse two. On the first day of every week, each of you should set something aside according to his own means. Did you notice Paul did not specify a certain minimum amount? And later, he mentioned the Macedonian Christians. They were in deep poverty, yet they begged for the privilege of giving. They were happy to give even beyond their means because they were giving to Jehovah. You need to every month give us more money. Look at all your bills. Look at everything that you're paying. Look at all the money that's coming in and going out. And even if you are paying us, see if you make sure you can't pay us more. <laughs> like we need you to confirm, like, are you sure we can't give them any more? Well, if we give them more, we're going to lose the house. Well, how about we just get a smaller house? <laughs> Like, that's the video that they will put out because 
they're trying to suck their members dry. They've already taken their youth. They've already taken their future careers and stuff like that. They've even put them in a position to whereas they don't have that crazy financial cushion that a lot of people have from a life of hard work and building their own career because the Jehovah Witnesses want you to build a career around being a Jehovah's Witness. Not going to college, not taking up all these financially uh, uh, beneficial jobs, any and everything that builds up the organization. That's what they want. And if you're not doing that, then you get in trouble and you get talked down to and they always try to mess with your with your conscience. Like, oh, you shouldn't be doing this. Oh, I shouldn't be out here making all this money and doing stuff like that. Like, that's how they mess with you. So the fact that they put their members in a position to not be as financially, uh, 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 like, well off, to then try to put the squeeze on them for the little bit that they have is disgusting. And, and, and it's, it's something that nobody should be okay with and everybody should speak out about. Hmm. Do you think we could do a bit more? Could we push ourselves a bit further? I'd really like to. Anyway, it's your boy, Jay the Comedian. If you like the video, subscribe. If you're an XJW and you support the XJW cause, share the video so as many people can see it as possible. And that helps the YouTube algorithm if you left a comment also. And if you're new to the channel, um, subscribe. Like I said, your toenails look terrific. Now, I know you get toenail compliments, but I'm talking about the ones that look a little, a little crazy. I'm telling you, they don't look crazy. They look terrific. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that inner toenail looks amazing. So there you have it. If anybody else, <laughs> so if anybody else have complimented your inner toenails, you can forget that. But you know, you just got an inner toenail compliment from me. And if you want to thank me, you can thank me by subscribing. Boom. Anyway, it's your boy, Jaden Comedian. I hope y'all having a great day. I'm having a great day. Holla at your guala. Deuces.